Greetings, this is Daniel with Tinker, and today we're going to show you how to use the new uploading process for the school roster on the Tinker Admin Dashboard. So let's begin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click over here on School Roster and Import School Roster. Here we're going to be given a couple of choices. We can create teacher logins using Google Accounts or Tinker Accounts. I'm going to choose Tinker Accounts. The same for students. Here we get a choice. We can create Google Accounts or we can use Google Accounts or Tinker Accounts. Here I'm going to create Tinker Accounts for both teachers and students. Click Next. Here you get an option to download a demo CSV. Go ahead and download that so you can format your CSV properly. Open your sample CSV. Notice there are comments in the top of the CSV. Don't edit or remove these comments. They're there to help you. Scroll down to the bottom and here's where you're going to enter in your teacher and student data. I completed the first line for you so you can see what I did. Let's start here. Here's the teacher first name, teacher last, teacher email, teacher password. I created Schultz's coders as the name of the class. Student first name, student last, student login and password. Now take a look at this student login. C Brown is a pretty typical name and it's probably already taken in Tinker's database. We need to create a unique login for every student that's not already used up. So I suggest going and putting in a, a number sequence or maybe an abbreviation. Uh, you create your own unique logins. For the sake of this video, I created a temporary Tinker password, but create passwords that are safe and remind students never share their passwords. Now I'm going to skip ahead and complete my data. I've completed entering my data for my sample class called Schultz's Coders. I simply repeated my teacher data down the line and had my unique student data inserted here. Now I'm ready to export as a CSV and give my upload a first try. Okay, so I'm going to return to my import student roster page here and I'm going to get my CSV and I'm going to drop it in there. And what happens is it does a little pre-flight check-in. And there might be an error in your CSV and you'll see if there are that there are some errors. So let's go ahead and download that error report and see what happened. When I open up the error report, I can see that I have four errors. And I can see first that I have a duplicate student username found. Also, I can see that I may have had some empty fields or rows that also created errors. So I need to go fix those. Let's take a look at the CSV. When I look at my CSV, I can see that yes, I do have a duplicate student that I'm going to have to delete because I can't have Peppermint Patty in two in twice in the same class. So I'm going to delete that row. But I can also see that I have an empty row here, which is also flagging an error. So I need to delete that row as well. Now my CSV is ready for uploading again. Okay, I fixed my errors and I'm going to go ahead and drop this back in there. So here I go. Let's see what happens. All right, everything's green. I have a new teacher, a new classroom, six new students, and then two existing students were already in there. So that's great. It's going to put all eight of those students into that classroom. So I'm going to import that. Great. So you can see that the import was successful. It added one new teacher, a new classroom, and then all eight of my students were enrolled into that class. Now let's look at our other options for creating teacher and student accounts. Click over on Import School Roster. Before, we created teacher and student logins by creating Tinker accounts for both. This time, we're going to use Google for teachers, and we're going to keep it at Tinker accounts for students. Click Next. Download the demo CSV and open it in your favorite spreadsheet program. You'll notice this CSV is a little simpler than the earlier one. That's because when creating accounts using Google accounts, all we need is the teacher's email address. 
Remember not to remove or edit these comments. They're there to help you. I've completed the CSV so you can see what I did. Here in the first row, I put the teacher email, the name of the class, and then the individual student data. Since these students are all in the same teacher's class, I'll repeat the teacher email and the name of the class in these rows. Now I'll export to a CSV and upload to Tinker. Now let's try it a different way. This time, we're going to create Tinker accounts for teachers and use Google accounts for students to log in. Click Next. Download the demo CSV and open it in your favorite spreadsheet program. Remember not to edit or remove the comments as they're there to help you. Down here, we're going to enter our teacher and student data. For teacher data, we're going to put first name, last name, the teacher email, teacher password, and the name of the class. And then for student data, all we need to put is the student Google account. That means their email address in this field. Let me skip ahead and show you my completed CSV. Here you can see I have teacher first, teacher last, teacher email, password, and the name of class. These lines have been repeated. And then I have my individual unique student login right here, their email. Now I'm ready to export as a CSV and upload to Tinker. And here's what the CSV looks like for using Google accounts with teachers and using Google accounts with students to log in. You can see it's really simple. All you need to do is put in a teacher email, the name of the class, and the student email. So it should look something like this. Teacher email and name of class will be repeated for that class. And then our individual student data, our individual unique emails will be in this row. Now I'm ready to export as a CSV and upload to Tinker. And now it's your turn. If you have a lot of students, you can't expect to spend a little bit of time on this. But if you have any problems, email us at support at tinker.com for any assistance.